I'm doing this. Like, it's not like I'm like on the walls, just you know, Lionel Richie and shit. Yeah, I'm not fucking Jamiroquai. It's so annoying, dude. It's actually Lionel Richie, not. Did Jameer quite did, no he's like going back and forth yeah, you know, he walks backwards. all over he, he walks on the ceiling too okay. dude all yeah right. man all right so sue me so sue me runk Are we started? Yeah, we started. Well, whose fault is that? It's nobody's fault. It's okay. What well, to. not everything's right. That needs to be on. I know. And I, there we go. Cause, cause you fucking ruined it. Yeah, I'm on and popping and on and popping. Yeah, right. I'm Method on. Method man, the way you're doing. What? It. Method man, the way you're doing. Isn't that how he does it? The like. No. Oh, okay, I know. On and popping is, uh, what's his name? DJ Quick. Young MC. I thought it was DJ Quick. No, okay. on and popping is. I'm MC. also right about other stuff though, so it evens out. So okay. it's fine. All right, great. That's great. Um, welcome to the show, Lifeline. Um, welcome to the show, Lifeline, and welcome to Dangly Earringville. You ever been to Dangly Earringville? That's uh, okay. Well, such probably an old not, lady it's, town. Probably not because it's population one. <laughs> 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 old lady town. <laughs> I'm not an old lady though. I'm a young man. Yeah, well, you got a dangly earring, and you got it before I did, but that's okay because I was busy getting fucking yatted up. Yeah, you know you're getting that. Up. And I swore, God, bleep it out. Sorry. You have so many yattos that you can't even show everybody. I can't yet. No, they're not healed. So, but I do. I do what I want, and I do it on my own time. And some of them I won't be seen for anybody. But I saw. You saw it. I saw it. And you know, and nobody knows what it is. Are they ever going to know? Like, yeah, they will. Well, it's it? on my arm, so yeah. It's creeping out. Yeah, I know. He's trying to out. say. Let me be seen. That's the worst thing to do. The tattoo you know? is right under, coming out under a shirt. I don't know if you guys can see, but what it's saying is, let me be seen. No, it's not. It's going yeah, it like is. this. Hey, dude, just let you know, he's this sexy. That's what's doing it. Because oh. having a lot of tattoos is sexy. And I'm sexy. Okay, so you think it's sexy when guys have a lot of tattoos? Yep. Oh. Yep. In a, in, a, in a gay way, I think that. Oh. And I'm gay. Oh. So how's that? Um, that was I, so unceremonious, the way you yep. can, came out of the closet. Yep. But okay. uh, I will say, uh, oh, there's news here. I'm shooting my special uh, in Minneapolis, uh, April 1st. And the first show is sold out, but their second show is still tickets if you want to be a part of that. And who's directing it? Steven Spielberg. That's not, not true. <laughs> How would it be <laughs> if, that's, if that's who directed it? Steven Spielberg and... Uh, Guillermo del Toro co-directing it. Wow, wow, yeah. that's amazing. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Okay. No, you know who's directing it? Yeah, I do. Is a little guy I like to call Matt D'Elia. Okay. Yeah. Well, we all call him that because that's his name. Yeah, um, but... but yeah, I will be in Minneapolis. I will be in Austin. I will be in uh, different places, you know. And it's Gave, up. Be, uh, Gave up. Gave uh, up. Uh, with Tulsa. <clears throat> and Kansas City. That's what's up, dude. You're going to be in Sugarland? Sugarland? No, I already did it. Sugarland? I already did it. How did the guy correct you again? Sh I don't know. It doesn't matter, though, huh? I'll okay. be in Midland, Texas, um, Columbus, Cincinnati, and Boise. And more dates coming up. Oh, Milwaukee and uh, Utah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That's all good. That's a lot of... You said there's a lot of places that you didn't say. I know, but, you know, you pick and choose. We'll be in Salt Lake. I got a lot. Go to chrislea.com and check it out, you I'll know? be in... Uh, well, stop moving it. Oh, he's stop, stop like, moving he's it. He's doing it like, look here. Okay. Uh, anyway, you know, you have a question for us on this show. Click the link in the description below. Or just simply go to watchlifeline.com. If you want a one-on-one -on -one advice session with me, you want to get down and dirty, you want to get in the muck, you want to get in the mire, you want to get talk now. about yeah. real serious darkness stuff. We get it. Privacy. Come to me. Stuff. Book a session, mattdelia.com. We'll get it taken care of. All right. And the Lifeline merch is fire. Lifelinemerch.com. Lifelinemerch.com. Not fire is in the website. I knew, anyway, that's, why you, I knew that's why you repeated it. How yeah. about that? Well, obviously you did. Too many drinks, too many hats. Uh, another, all right. So I'm pissed it's not a regular Coke. But I know, those little ones. ones are kind of... But the it's little, also a zero. So what, so how, how, a at what point is it just going to be nothing? It's zero calories and way less of a Coke anyway. Yeah, but... Pretty soon, pretty oh, there's no this. sugar in this? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> ah, dude Bro. burping there's uh there's no sugar in this yeah i know that's what a coke zero is man what's even in it then you know what i'm saying i'll tell you what's in it cancer yeah chemicals 
What's worse, this or regular Coke? It depends if you want to get fat or die. I'd rather, well, I'd rather get fat. Well, you're going to die from fatness anyway. You're going to die so either way. So then your thing doesn't even work. You want to die fat or you want to die with cancer? Oh, I want to die fat. Then you're drinking the wrong thing. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. Okay. But pretty soon you'll be like this. Pretty soon you'll be like this. Do you want a Coke? Like with the, with the microscope? Oh, wow. That was the microscope, the yeah, first one? Wow. It was, yeah. I'm Your mind. fingers would be too big for I'm it. Anyway. I look. There's no regular Cokes, man. So it's okay, man. It's fine, dude. Just sit down and do the producer work. You I've been misled. I've been lied to. Wow. Bro, and... grab the Topo Chico for himself, so dude. the truth comes out. <laughs> the dude. truth comes out. Only <laughs> wanted a Topo. <laughs> you want a Coke? Let me get a Coke. Oh, we don't have any. Whoa. Hey, look here. Got it. Got the Topo, topo Chico. Um, so, yeah. So, what you been doing, man? I, I tell you what, man, we haven't seen each other in a bit, huh? No, I didn't know when did you while. get the dangly earring. Uh, I got the dangly earring about uh, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, I haven't seen you. And the woman who did it, she asked me, mm -hmm. "Do you want it right on the old? Because I used to have my ears pierced." Oh right, right. She said, "Do you want want it right on the old uh, yeah. spot because that's where it was?" And I said, "Absolutely, of course." Right. But I also thought there's no way she's going to get exactly yeah on it. But right. she got it exactly on it's it. It's her job. But she's so good at it. That's what she, thank God. She, do we need more people like that who are it's good at their so job? That's so true. Where'd you dude. get it done? What kiosk at the mall? Uh, the one, which mall you mean? No, I'm saying, where'd you go? I'm saying, what kiosk at the mall? Like you were out there getting it in the, outside of Orange Julius, just like. Psst. I basically was. I was at really? the Glendo Galleria, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it was an Armenian. She was not Armenian. Hey, she hey, was, dog, let me, hey, come here. Hey, you want it exactly where it was, dog? She was, she was Middle Eastern, but she was not Armenian. This is uh, the waiver. You have to sign this just in case um, I put my hands in your face. I know that a lot of times <laughs> people don't like their hands. Uh, if somebody put their hands in my place, in my face, dude, that's it for them. So how come when you, you think in your mind, Armenians are only talking about one version or another of putting fingers in someone's face? <laughs> because that's so disrespectful. And hey, that's one thing I won't stand for, dog. Hey, bro. So is it the respect thing? Yeah. Like they think a lot about yeah, respect. Yeah, that's why they love stuff? Scarface, dude. They love Scarface. I saw Scarface the other day, dude, for the first time. How is that even possible? Dude, It was it's it, because I only see parts. Of, it's one of those movies you only see parts of, no, you know? No, if you're a loser, yeah. But if now, you're a loser. Now you're a non-loser. Dude, I how guess. hilarious that Al Pacino literally just plays a fucking Cuban. I mean, that's how it was. Didn't know, to, didn't know Tony Montana wasn't a real person until I watched the movie. Well, you probably thought it because it's based on a previous movie right by howard hawks howard hawks of course and who plays scarface in that one paul mooney S really m-u-n-i oh no okay <clears throat> paul money uh from 1931 i think oh and the only thing that's the same besides the obvious rise fall is that there's there is the globe the world wow, is yours really that's what it is right yeah. The world is yours. yeah i knew that and um also yeah, i saw that globe awesome. on the th the world is yours. It should say the world is mine. Right. Well, well that's actually that's yours. actually why I hesit hesitated because I was like, wait, does it say? Yeah. Because no, it says the world is yours. When I was watching the movie, I was like, why doesn't it say the world is mine? He's so egotistical. You know why, why would he say the world is mine? Because it's supposed it's like supposed to be a metaphor. You and can have to it have all. it apply. It needs to be for you, not just one person for the movie, for the movie and for the audience. Yeah. Right. I know, but yeah. I didn't like that because it's like I'm not dumb. I get it. But in the original, he actually sees it. Oh. He sees it up on the top of a building somewhere, oh. and it like is oh, supposed to like. Is inspire. it good? A good movie? I mean, it's you wouldn't like it. But is it's, Scarface it's a good, good movie? The the new one, the the Pacino the new, one, the new older one, yeah, the new older yeah, one. The, yeah, that's amazing. You like it? Yeah, yeah, dude. Cool. Push it to the limit. So many good things in that movie. And then when it goes, welcome to the limit. That, that's my favorite part. When it goes, push it to the limit, and they talk about all like going to keep it to the limit, and then at the end it goes, welcome to the limit, like we've achieved. You got it, there, yeah. Yep, it's telling a story. Yeah. So uh, I saw Scarface. I was in New York and I was in Chicago, and then you were only here. So great. So I'm a world traveler. You're not. Yes. Where did you see Scarface? On the plane. You the best place to see a movie. No, wrong. Watching Scarface on a plane is the wrong thing to do. Well, that's what I did. And that's the only time I was ever going to watch it. So you should be why, grateful. Why, dude? Why don't you like to watch good movies oh, ever? Why don't I like to watch good movies? Oh, oh you're, talking about the, you're talking, talking to a guy who watched Cloverfield last night. You're talking to a guy who watched Cloverfield. The, the original best found Cloverfield? Footage. Yeah, the found footage. Dude, have you seen the, the new one? The mm. Cloverfield Paradox? I have. Paradox? Cloverfield Paradox. Saw that on a plane too. I only know. No, no, no. Saw it on Netflix. Cloverfield Lane is the one other one I know. 10 what's, Cloverfield what, What's? <laughs> <laughs> it's Cloverfield, then it's 10 Cloverfield Lane that takes place many years afterwards, and then it's the Cloverfield Paradox, which takes place before you all want a, of them. You want a piece of trivia? <laughs> yeah. 
10 Cloverfield Lane was never a Cloverfield movie until after it was shot. Then they added the part about how they go outside. You're kidding me. It was just a like a uh, chamber piece movie with a handful of actors. You're kidding me. No, nah, dude. And then J.J. Abrams, who whose company had produced it, was like, that sucks. Time to expand the universe. And dude, I'm telling I, you. That makes I think it way kinda, less good. I agree, but I think it's kind of smart that it they did that. It is smart yeah. they did it, for sure. <clears throat> yeah. But like, uh, Imagine that's being not the what he had in plan? Though. Imagine being the filmmaker. Oh like, my oh, God, no, dude. dude. Yeah. So, oh my God, dude. Yeah. It's crazy, right? Wow. How did you know that? Because uh, I'm the guy. Just I, I know about movies, man. Wow. Are you sure? I mean, I'm I wasn't there, but yeah, I'm but sure. But is that like one of those things where they say the guy for the law because they say the thing about loss where like he he didn't really know what he was doing, he was just writing as he was going. Damon Lindelof? Or No, 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 JJ Abrams. Yeah, Damon Damon Lindelof wrote it. Right. Okay, but right, I know, but but it's but it was it was them too. Oh, okay. Right. Right. And and they Oh, I've heard that about Lost. I'm saying like I don't the know first season true. after the first season they were like, uh is that true? I, I don't know. But I don't know. That's what I'm well, saying. then why are you saying is it like that? Because I don't believe shit just because it's in the fucking zeitgeist. No, I know that that is true about Cloverfield, 10 Cloverfield lanes. Hmm. 10 different Cloverfield lanes. What I don't understand is why, I, here's why I don't like Cloverfield. Why is it called Cloverfield? I don't know. Do you know? Uh, Anthony, you're a dork. <laughs> <laughs> The entire time you guys been talking about this, I've been like, oh, yeah, I know that. Oh, wow. So what's <laughs> up with, uh, why is it called, is it called a, a... Cloverfield was originally the, like, they were trying to keep it super secret. So it was originally, that was like the, it's called something. When a movie's called something before it actually comes out. And yeah. And they just kept it. Oh, oh yeah. pissed. But why, though? So now they call the monster know. Clover in the monster, in the in a movie, which is stupid. And then it's 10 Cloverfield Lane. It's like, so they just happen to live on a place called Cloverfield Lane? Lane, I, I don't. I don't like how the clover doesn't mean they were gonna call the movie. You know what they were gonna call the movie? Cheese. What? Yep. Don't know why. No, that's not true. Yeah, it is. You made it up. No, I didn't. What movie was gonna be called Cheese? Cloverfield. Why? Don't know. Why is it called Cloverfield? Well, Cloverfield doesn't make people say why is it called that. Cheese does. <laughs> 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 like cheese is a thing <laughs> that everyone knows what it is. You know. Well, Cloverfield at least is a made up thing that people are like, oh. I don't need to know what that is. I'm just going to see the movie. I, I don't I, The whole time I was like, why is this fucking thing called Clover? Right, 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 right. If it was called right. Cheese, I'd be like, this is hilarious. It's called the Cheese. Right, right, right. All right, dude, you know, say right. I, so I don't say right. I say right. I right, know, I know, right, I know. Right, we we right, used to watch the thing on MTV where the guy said, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Grind. The Grind. Eric Nice. Put up a picture of Eric Nice. What? Is that what you're doing? That's what he's it's doing. It's Eric Nice. Yeah, Eric right, right, right. Right, 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 right. And then I turned it into, I like guess, John Voight. So now right. me and this idiot over here, us two idiots, we just say John, John, John. And only us, we know what we're talking about. This is the worst podcast known to man. This is the worst <laughs> podcast known to man. And I will tell you this, dude, Eric Nice is, that's the worst last name. That's like your last name dude, is imagine Arms. That's like your last name is Arms. <laughs> imagine. Didn't like that you cut me off in the middle of it. Shut. But it's fine. Up, dude. It's like your last name is Ice. Are you done? I'll, I'll wait now. Okay. A few seconds, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, go. So what was I even going to say? Oh. I wonder what Eric Nice looks like now, though. Terrible. Guys who are like that kind of handsome mm -hmm. look like nice after like shit. Yeah. Oh, you can. You can't say it. It's thirteen minutes in. Oh, you just make the rules as you go. Okay, it's like five minutes. But yeah, no, I get it. Oh wow! Oh oh oh! oh look oh, at so him. This sex has been the world. <laughs> oh, dude, sings country, sings country, no doubt. Wow! Look at him. He doesn't look good. He used to. Oh, yeah, look he how looks good. good. He, that's how he used to look, though. Oh, I thought that's him now. That looks good. Yeah, he did. Uh, he did balding well, huh? Uh, is he balding? Well, yeah, you can tell because he's bald. I can't tell. I you can tell because his hair starts here. Okay, I guess I didn't see that. Saluting yeah. you, saluting you. Um. All right. Well, you want to get into the program? Okay. Or what? Or do we want to talk about people that nobody fucking knows about? That was way too fast. What you said, so Eric Nice. I bet everybody remembers Eric Nice. Hi guys. Hi. Uh, huge fan. I love your podcast. It is literally my lifeline. Gets cool. me through my days. Nice However, time. quick backstory. I am 26. Same. I got married at 23, Same. divorced at 25. Same. I took no. a year to self-reflect, love myself, get get myself right. Um, but she's just now getting back into the dating field, okay? Right. I'm originally from Louisiana. I've lived in LA for five, six years now. Mm -hmm. And getting back into the dating scene has been absolute trash. Mm. I swear to God, if I liked Kitty Cat, I would be a lesbian, but your girl is strictly dickly. Whoa. 
I can't do it. That's However, a way to say every that. guy that I've had a fling with, that I've gone on dates with, etc., that have allowed me to meet their friends, wanted me to meet their friends, we're in a group setting, and she's Southern. And she wants to meet the friends. She wants she's to get to herself, know them. Right? I make mm-hmm. the friends laugh, etc. The guy literally will end it with me because I am, quote, unquote, too sarcastic. Why am I making their friends laugh? Why am I... Why do I have a personality is basically what it translates to. I don't understand. I'm not flirting with their friends. Mm. I try to make them laugh and they laugh, but they're like, oh, you you have too much of they literally say you have too much of a personality. Your your personality is intimidating. I don't understand. I don't know if it's because I'm the funniest person in the room and they just get like mad about that. I don't even believe that of myself. I just like to get to know people like I'm she's been pretty I'm Southern. And if you want me to meet your friends, I'm not just going to sit there. And look pretty. Hi, I'm Tori. No, like, I want to, like, get to huh. know you. She's funny. She has some spunk. She has some spice she to does. her. Mm. I don't get why it's such a crime for me to have a personality and want to make people laugh. But literally every guy that I've gone out on a date with has been, like, it's too it's much. Too much like, saying, later yeah. down the line. Especially once meeting their friends. And their friends will message me after and be like, wait, what happened? Why aren't you with so-and-so? Like we hit it off, wow. and they're like, well, "At least you get oh, a lot of friends out of it." He said that. Like, I don't get it. Like you were fine. That he's just must be going through it. Whatever. Um, but it's literally been countless I, times. Yeah, I don't know. Any advice would help, but I got advice. I hope I don't have to just be like a bump on the log. Okay. And well, she's twenty six, right? That's so that, not that's me. Still... And I hope I can find my person somewhere. She's but I don't know. Like I feel like every guy, guy in L.A. is like just used to girls just sitting at a restaurant well, ordering the most expensive, expensive things and not really giving <laughs> a fuck show? about them. But I give a fuck. And I also want to make <laughs> you laugh and I want to have a good time. Yes. Mm-hmm. Is there a happy medium? Help. Yeah. Okay. So those guys yeah. that you're dating yeah. are pieces of shenanigans. Okay. You don't have to. Okay. It's okay to swear now. They're she did too. pieces of shenanigans. Okay. It's not even. That's not how it would be. It was pieces of ish. That's okay. what it would be. I'm, I'm making it more German now. Okay. It's it. So I don't know if I'd say they're pieces of shit, but they're. It's dude. I, if you're like a a you, a woman, you know, if you're if you're a guy, single guy, mm-hmm. and you're you meet a woman that you like, but and everything's cool, but otherwise, other than the fact that she has up too much of a personality, yeah. is like that's not. You're saying that you're saying she has too much of a thing that is good. Here's the thing that usually you usually see, honestly, people who say like, oh, I have too much of a personality. They seem annoying. Yeah, right. Of course. She's yeah. not. She yeah. actually seems like a very sweet, fun person to be around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the guys that she must be hanging out with are they, I, I, I don't know them, but they've got to just be like insecure. They've or got, just like super old fashioned, like really uptight Christian. Except for the, or she's in other LA. kind of religion. Yeah, no, I know. I'm saying so that's the thing. That's the only kind of guy who has an excuse mm-hmm. to be that way. If you're from like 1951 right. and, and like Hello, a, an annoying. You're talking too much. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, that's weird. That is a weird thing. Um, I don't know. I mean, I like to talk and and bullshit and be funny and if uh, uh, you know like my my wife is funny she's funny she's outgoing and stuff i, I you my know question i would is, never what are like, these guys when you, uh, you know what here's my advice mm-hmm. next time if that happens again ask what would you prefer then even if you're not yeah. asked you're not you're not positing well i can be yeah. that too i'm not saying be desperate and like bend over backwards to give this yeah. idiot what he wants but put it back on him and be like well i'm sorry what's what's like What's the alternative? You, I have too much of a personality. You want just like an idiot who sits there. Like, yeah. what are you, what are you seeking that I, this isn't? You know, I think they probably think they want that, but they don't actually really want that. These guys are, I would say, I'll, I, mean, I don't know how many guys has been what three, four. I don't know, but they're lost causes. It's tough to date in LA, man. Yeah. It's tough to date, and you're, you've been through it already. You've been married. You know, I, you're married at a, a young age, like me. In LA, it's a young age. Oh, and I have advice. What? They're probably if they're if they're your age. If they are, they're probably if yeah exactly. Yeah. I would say maybe date older guys. She probably does this LA because I'm just saying yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounds like a young person thing. That's true. I don't know any forty year old that would be like, oh, this woman yeah. she's got too much of a personality. But a young like insecure person who like Actually, needs to be the one yeah. who's funny and the center of attention, I could totally see it going that way. Maybe date older guys if 
they're your age or like under 30. Older say. established guys know what they want. Yeah. And, and they're aren't also, insecure like that. Yes. Yeah. Figured it out. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, actually, dude. that was me 100%. No, we figured both kind of wouldn't, you wouldn't got it. I walked so you could fly like how they say that. But you, know? you cut me off just to say what I was already saying, which is all good. <sighs> Uh, okay, but yeah, that's the advice to you. Appreciate you, and yeah. I'm not also not worried about it because she'll find. I mean, yeah, good, she's, good luck. First of all, though. she's already been it's, married, so she figured it out. It just so sounds like you're on a bad run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's not every guy. Yeah, a lot. Of, most guys that I know mm -hmm. actually say the opposite. In fact, many guys I know are either having a hard time with their current girlfriend or their recent, most recent girlfriend because they're just like, I don't know, like I wasn't like she wasn't really like, participating. Yeah, she didn't yeah, have yeah. A, a lot I've to heard say. That word too. So it's like you could just. You, I think you we just had a run of the wrong guys. Her to those guys, right, 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 John, right. John, John. Okay, cool. What's in up, disguise. Chris and Matt? This is uh, Logan from Alabama. Uh, we are actually in y'all's neck of the woods right now for the very first time. Me and my wife, uh, Shelby, uh, we are renting a car uh, in LA, which is kind of what it seems to be the move. Yeah, okay. uh, and it got us thinking. Yeah, um, and really butting heads. Um, I'm a big Apple Maps guy, uh -huh. and she is a Waze uh -huh. girl, yeah. which sounds strange. But uh, we, how do we get past this? What do we? Oh, I, what do we I mean, do to Unless get past to this it. impasse? Because it's it's causing a lot of of hard feelings between the two of us. Okay. And uh, we just kind of wanted to hear your input. What what do you guys like? Apple Maps or, or Waze? Thanks, oh, guys. Here's the advice, Logan. Stop being a Fucking piece of shenanigans. Why? Because Waze is so much better, dude. Apple Maps sucks. Yeah, but Apple Maps all, all Apple Maps often syncs to your car. And I Waze, hate you that. Go, You're like, right. It thing. does. Yeah. I hate, but I don't yeah. want it to. Right. Because it's worse. Yeah. Is it? So yeah, it's worse, dude. But Waze is, is, I can't tell you mm -hmm. the. I mean, the percent of times that I use Waze mm -hmm. and get there exactly at the at the, at the estimated time mm -hmm. that they said i would mm -hmm. yeah Waze is, is unbelievable that, yeah. i don't i use apple maps and i don't even have a, i have a samsung so it's amazing also the interface sucks on apple maps oh really yes i don't like here here's what i don't like when you <clears throat> when you're walk dude when i was in chicago my kind of town so annoying so annoying um when i was in chicago like and even in new york gonna wake up in the city by the way the city sleeps now after covid it sucks mm. they go to bed everyone goes to bed in but, chicago no in new york yeah i know but I, was, I was quizzing you in chicago and new york you know the cell i don't know what's up with the cell towers but you, dude it takes like nine or 12 minutes to fucking if you're walking like to get the direction right yeah yeah dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to be like tw twisting it and is that because people are they're constantly trying to keep up with the amount of data everyone needs in the city. It's, it's so it's, annoying, Everybody's dude. using shit at the same time. So Chicago, I would use Apple Maps, and it was really hard to do it, but I was walking. And then, but but I think I think Waze, though, here's the annoying thing about Waze, first of all. And there's only one, so not second of all. But they're, 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 you, you, yeah, it tells you how to get there quicker, but you're turning in so many back roads, dude. That doesn't happen for me. Oh, really? I go to alternate routes, uh -huh. and it just, you can pick from three at least three yeah and i always pick the one with the least amount of left turns but isn't it always why left because left turns are impossible in oh he's smart he's yeah. smart yeah. so uh but hold on what about but usually it's like okay this one and then it's also this one but plus eight minutes or this plus 22 minutes those are the three options no, and you're like no, i gotta no, go with no, the first no, one and then no, you're doing no, so many left turns no 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 not for me. This is, not my ex this is not my experience. <laughs> this is not my all right, experience. All right, fine. All right, fine. Waze. Logan, get it together. I don't... Get it together and use Waze. I don't really have too what much... What was of his wife's name? Spencer? I, Slippy, slappy... No. Samsonite? I think it was slappy. <laughs> Dude, that part's funny. <laughs> and Dumb and Dumber, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, let the yeah, audience yeah, know. Yeah, we know, yeah, but yeah. let the audience know. Yeah. Um... So, uh, yeah, I don't care enough, honestly. I, I use Apple Maps, though, because who cares? What's going to make five minutes, ten minutes quicker? Boo! Doesn't matter, dude. Hey, if I'm late, oh, well. Hey, dude, if I'm late, hey, guess what? Okay, now that I'm here, we can start. Aesthetic matters, and I hate the interface of Apple Maps. Aesthetic okay. doesn't matter when you're trying to get somewhere. It's drunk the way you said it. And so I, was, I want you to know that. <laughs> All right, next one. 
This is Matt, huge fan. Uh, I'm wearing a wife beater because it's 85 degrees in this grow house, so take it easy. Okay. Uh, my question's for Chris. I did my first three minutes last night. Nice. Uh, thought it went pretty well. Let's talk about and sex. And I was told to record <laughs> myself to go back and uh, critique my performance. Talk about sex! The question is basically, did you do that at first? Uh, did you find any use in that? Or did you kind of just trust yourself to go up each time and uh, kill it? Talking about sex. So, sex. let me know. Thank you. Okay, so went on stage. Then they told him to record himself, right? His self. Mm -mm, uh, Chris? And then said, well, "Who's they? Critique the he, people. The, the people that. Well, he said they. He I don't know, said they. The people yeah. who said. Who cares? The he voices said, in his head told him. <laughs> told him so that himself. he was trying to and they and they to watch it back and they wanted to. Does he find it helpful? Right. That was the question. Okay. Critique himself. Um. And he wants to know if you've recorded yourself before i did okay so here's what would happen i would record myself in the beginning because i thought it would be a good idea mm -hmm. and then i never really watched it that's so you mm -hmm. it is very me because i think okay so he did his first three minutes does it help no the the only thing you got to do in the beginning is just keep getting on stage that's it that's it you, you're, you're not even writing stuff now that you're going to be using when you actually become a real comedian not to say you're not a real comedian you are a real comedian if you get on stage and do stand up but once you start working you're not going to use this stuff anyway so there's no reason to understand the beats and shit and what you're saying and what you need to say and not say just get on stage and get over that getting on stage get over bombing get over all that stuff so no i think that it doesn't matter as a matter of fact i think you're doing yourself a disservice if you record yourself and because then you're gonna have the inkling oh i'm gonna put this online and it's too early to put anything online don't get known just work your shit that's it that's it there's nothing else but keep getting on stage you don't have to record your set maybe you're i actually don't think you ever have to record your set unless you're like I want to shoot this thing for like, you know, Comedy Central or Netflix and I want to get it tight and you shoot in an hour, then okay. But other than that, no. No. The answer is no. I have a question. Why do so many upcoming comedians yeah. put their, what they would consider their best material yeah. online? It's like anytime I look at like a comedian with like, you know, not so many Instagram followers, but obviously they go up a lot. It's yeah. like their whole page is cl are clips from their material and isn't that like yeah i don't get that it seems well, to be going working against them in a net it 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 it, it does uh, it, it's it kind of sucks because it kind of sucks for comedians because not everybody can get specials right of course and so up until recently the past year or so People have been putting them on YouTube's and getting real, putting it on YouTube and getting Fine. real numbers on, on it, and then that leads to sick ticket sales. There's, there's the guys who can get sh stuff on Netflix. They won't do that, and even if they do, it doesn't matter because they're gonna get millions of views anyway, right? Right, right. But if you got a guy like somebody who's opening for somebody, right? That okay. doesn't have a special. They're not gonna get a special okay. anytime soon. Okay. And 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 it is advantageous for them to put their stuff online because it, people it is, will. You said is, is yes. Okay. Yeah. Because people will find their stuff and be like, oh, who is this? And then that can lead to ticket sales. Okay. I mean, uh, Shane Gillis put yeah. his uh, YouTube special or put a special on YouTube. That's it. And it it, it got like twelve million hit views. Yeah. And now he's doing theaters. Wow. So there's a bunch of different ways to do that, but nobody was doing that before. He that. just dropped it on YouTube. Yeah. Just without anything. I think so. I, I don't wow. really know, but yeah. So so guy that, that does work for people, you know? Um yeah, I, I don't know. It does work for people. And so you're you're asking why they do that, and that's why. Because there is it is a little bit like ch hitting the jackpot. Yeah. Like look, Matt Reif, who is um now blew up on TikTok. You see that like super handsome guy? Yeah. 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 Why He's, is he so handsome? It's I don't know. Comp it's 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 confusing. Yeah, he's 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 really good too. It's not he's that's not, what's like, that's what I'm saying is weird. I know it's it is it is. But well, he was not handsome when he was started stand up. What? What? Yeah. Well, he started when he was 16, and he was like braces, dork. And now he looks like yeah, that. It's hilarious, dude. That is hilarious. It's really funny. It's really funny. Wow. And now he looks like that, and he's and he blew up on TikTok. But but the whole thing is he put out his special on YouTube. He, he was like, you think I'll get a hundred thousand views? Oh wow! And on my podcast, I was like, yo, go see this. I posted on my thing. Taking credit, taking nah, credit no, for it. Yeah. No, and and it, and it got and it got a hundred thousand. Other people were doing it too. It got like a hundred thousand. And he was like, why the fuck won't people you know repost my stuff and this and that? And then went on TikTok, blew up, just started putting clips up, okay. blew up, and now everybody is like, fuck yeah, go Matt. 
fuck those motherfuckers because oh. Matt's the shit. Oh. And and he blew up. But they and like now he's got like three million views on YouTube or something because of that. That's good though. Yeah, why it's is, awesome so for him. So why fuck anybody? Because they weren't they, because they nobody wants to put their money where their mouth is. Nobody wants to be like, yeah, this guy's funny, or they or oh. until they're like, oh, they blew up, and now everybody's on his nuts. It's like fuck oh, all see, that see, shit. See, fuck see, that see. shit, dude. I see. Okay. Well, now you're getting really, really upset. You, so you want to be down with the mother- motherfucker? Be down with the motherfucker wow, since wow, day wow, one. Wow, Tupac. Okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. All right, we'll do another one. Fuck Mob Deep. Fuck Bad Boy Records as a record label and as a motherfucking crew. Okay, and let's start that over because Chris was having a meltdown. Cool, it's okay. Love you guys, huge fans. Guy. Everybody Shave, says that, but I'm literally the largest fan to ever have largest. existed. Probably not, but whatever. Look, he's fat. Um, my question is, uh, I recently, so recently tonight, went rollerblading with my family, my oh, mom and my this, stepdad, I mean, so and oh, um, I got pretty good at it fairly quickly. You know, I'm 20, 22, 23. Know how old I'm, he is. I just smoked a lot of. I'm 22, sorry, 23 ish. Um, I'm just curious. Do I need to be embarrassed at all about no. rollerblading? And also, should I invite some of my 22, 23-year-old friends to come with me? Or would it be a better idea for a date? Is it too out of date? Let me know. Bro. Love you guys, Chris. Loved you in New Orleans. Oh, it's hell a, yeah, dude. It's a great idea for a date. He should have said, I love you, Matt, too, but he didn't. Well, he didn't see you in New Orleans. But he should have said, Maybe that's how he fell in love with me. I love you, Matt. Dude, but, but, but it's not... Bad for a date. Awesome it's for a date. It's certainly not bad with the family. It's pretty bad if it's just like you and three guys, though. Fuck, I disagree. Oh, okay. I, I want a rollerblade crew. As a matter of oh. fact, I'm going to start rollerblading because this guy's passionate. I have a buddy who's I'll be in your group. a supreme blader. Why? And he goes to like competitions and stuff. Goes backwards and shit. He's rad at it. He like goes, he like jumps. What do you call it when you jump up and you like ride along this A thing? jump. Grinding. Grinding. Grinding, yeah. Grinding. Like like Eric Nice. Nice on the grind. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, da, he grinds, dude. It's going backwards. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that song though? And why did uh, you do it? I don't know. I think Brett Ernst has a bit on rollerblading, and it's fucking hilarious. Oh, Roller okay. skating. Okay. Um, but yeah, dude. Uh, oh, there's another guy, Brett Ernst. He put his special on YouTube. It's got like three three million things on that. Oh, good for him. I know, man. dude. Love a Brett new Ernst. special. Like no, no, no. It's it's been around for a while, and now he's doing his his second one. Or well, I don't know. It's, it's second one on YouTube, but yeah. Yeah, I remember Brett. I haven't seen Brett in like a decade. Yeah, he's great. He's a great guy. A lot of white guys are doing the YouTube thing because fucking everyone wants like you know Indian stand-up comedians now. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Uh- <laughs> Hey, Chris, this is a question for you. Okay, um, I guess I'll just go home. My name is Billy. I live in Odessa, Texas, so I'll see you in Midland on March 24th. Nice, Bring Chris my Lee.com. fiance and a couple of our friends. Hell yeah. We're super stoked. Um, I need advice on parenting stuff. I'm not a parent yet, uh, but we, we do plan on having kids in the future, and I'm so pumped for that. Nice. The only thing I'm not ready for is when my kid walks up to me and says, Dad, I float up because I have a weak stomach. I can't oh. handle flow up, okay? Wow. Anytime cute. I see somebody on TV do it, I have to mute it and look what? away. If somebody does it to me and it's in like in the same room, does it to me. I have to run out of the room because I'm starting to gag and like oh, weird. dry heave and stuff. And I know that the day is going to come when my kid comes up to me and says, I throw it up. So, Chris, you as a father, me as a future father, how how do I handle flow up? How do I not flow up? Cleaning the flow up. Deaf. <laughs> I don't want to flow up. Anyway, um, any tips and tricks Damn. on that would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in Midland on March 24th. My, you got to get over it. Grow up. I know how. Even though you didn't ask me, you dick. <laughs> grow up. Rhymes with throw up. Grow up. Yeah. Grow you got to get over it. Up, Actually, dude. unfortunately, th- you got to just get over it. Oh, you're an adult? Oh, oh, grow up. Yeah. yeah. So m- m- I was going to throw up when I, first time I ever threw up, my dad knew how scared I was and I, that I wouldn't do it in the toilet. And my dad said, just throw up on me. And he said, I went like this and throw up all over his chest do you know that would it have would it did it make you feel better it made me feel comfortable i think he describes it as it made me feel comfortable it's like oh if i could do it on him it must not be that big of a deal okay you know well, that's disgusting and i've been doing it ever since hey dad you're disgusting if i have to throw up i drive over to mommy and daddy's house and I, <laughs> I throw up all over my dad um yeah dude i uh yeah i think you got to get over it man you got and you know what actually you know what i'm actually i'm not worried about you because you learn a lot from your kids 
and you are going to figure out how to do this. And when your son has to throw up, that's going to help you get over your throw up thing because that's your son. That's your flesh and blood. You need to get over it because he needs you, dude. How about that? And right now you're probably like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I don't know if I could do it, but I'm telling you right now, you don't even know how much he needs you and you don't even know how much because you don't know how much you need him. And when he comes out, you'll see and he's going to throw up and it'll be just fine. I'm not even worried about it. Okay, but also I would say I'm guessing that when your son throws up, mm -hmm. Ew, go like it's, this. Ew, it's not going to be that gross to you. But that's what kind of what I'm saying. It's not what you're saying, though. It's what I said. It Remember? is what I'm saying. It's not what you're saying. It's what I'm saying because I'm the one who said it. I said, if we were around it, you would okay. see that I'm the one who said that and not you. You said a different thing. I said so it. that's why you said, that's the thing you said. But that's what I'm saying, though, is because it's his son and it's going to be okay. And you, you, you just don't need to worry about it. I'm not worried about you, I said. But what I said is because it's your son, mm -hmm. it's not even going to gross you out in the first place. So you're good. Because I'm not worried, but that's why I'm not worried about you. Wow. <laughs> I mean, just needs to have said what I said, you know? All right. Well, he's fine and grow up and he's fine. Okay. Who else we got? Wow. So over him. Same guy. What's up, Chris? What's up, Matt? What's Baby up? from We'd Nashville, be in Boardwalk Tennessee. Empire. Out here with the puppy. Hey. I uh, got a question for y'all, really. How of should course. I handle this situation? I work at a restaurant with this guy that walks up to the bathroom stall while you're trying to poop and he'll lean up against the stall and start tapping his foot oh. and humming or whistling what? like he's in a fucking 80s movie. And for me, I'm trying to sit private yeah. while I'm doing my thing. I can't really make a bowel movement with somebody that's standing two feet away from me. So pretty much everybody at the restaurant has said something about it. We all oh, think it's weird. Nobody wants to say anything to him. So... Why? Just wondering uh, how I should approach this. Uh, yeah, love the podcast, y'all. Life rips. Booyah, booyah, and booyah. Hell yeah, dude. That was cool. What I don't understand is what the guy's doing. Does he have to go? No, 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 no. What, he's being like, oh, he thinks he's being funny, first of all. Oh. Uh. But he's like getting close to the stall, tapping on it, and like being a, he said 80s movie because it's like a bully thing. Right, right? but he doesn't want to fight. But what, I don't no, but what I don't understand is why is everyone unwilling to say something to this guy when a everyone agrees but b so power in numbers but b that sucks what is and everyone doing? would agree so next time he does it say get away i'm trying to take a nation matt or whatever you know use the actual word if you want but just be like what do you make him feel here's what you want to do you want to make him feel stupid. Mm. You don't just want to let him know he needs to stop. You want to make him feel mm. stupid. Mm. So you got to have the right tone of voice and you got to be like, what What are you doing, dude? Yeah. Like, are you a fucking infant? What is wrong with you? Get the fuck out of here. Everyone hates you because you do wow. this. Get out. Wow. And then that, he would never do it again. Uh, report. Yay! Report him. He'll get fired. Yeah, but does he want that? Well, That's no. So just, yeah, be like, yo, dude, you got to stop hanging out where everyone's shitting. Yeah. That's I mean, so it weird. Is, it is really I weird. What, what, I, would, I would be like, hey, man, what are you doing? Is it funny? Exactly. That's well, what I don't understand. Do you want to fight? It seems like you're a bully, but I don't get, I don't want to fight. I just want to shit. Yeah. I don't want to fight. I just want to shit. That's like a rap song. Yeah. I don't know, dude. That's weird. Be like, hey, if you're going to stand out there, what, come in, wipe my ass, dude. Right. Or... I, that's a weird thing, bro. That's very, very. You know weird. what? You're shit in the adults, guy's car, dude. Shit in the guy's car. Shit on the guy's car. And, and be then, like, where were you for this one? No. Then when he gets mad, be like, I didn't know where else to shit. It's the only place I knew you weren't because you yeah, were working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're working, so I was like, oh, I shit on your door handle. Yeah, yeah. That's annoying, dude. One time I was that's coming out like of a antisocial weird. Like that's yeah. like a yeah. The, that guy's gonna kill somebody or something. Like that's what, so weird. What time I came. One time I came out of a mall and there was a homeless guy pissing on my car. No way. Yep. Waited for him to finish. Oh, why? What he got, he was homeless. It's like, what's, where's this leading to? Getting him to stop pissing on your car, I guess. Uh, yeah, but like, then what? He turns around and pisses all over me and shit. Like, I'm just, all right, just piss. I was just like, all right. I mean, I guess, you know what? Maybe I would do the same thing, but I don't think, right. I think I would have reacted too quickly to catch myself before I, caught myself. I didn't. I'm good. At, I'm good at that. You're not good at that. Uh, I'm worse at that. Yeah, I am worse at that. Well, I was joking, but now I feel bad. But yeah, I was just like, no, it's all right. I have a temper. Yeah, and, well, I have a temper too. Okay, but you—you well, yeah. you think you have a worse temper than me? I have a worse temper than you. You get way more mad about shit that is very stupid and doesn't matter. I snap it matters, more than you. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? You don't snap. 
Right, true. I snap. True. When was the last time you snapped? Uh, a second ago. Come on. Um, it's been a while. I mean, I've been working on this. One, that, actually, that's the reason I started going to therapy. Yeah, you started going to therapy because therapy because of what? Because I when I I was dating uh, Jeanette. Remember when I was dating her? Okay. And try not to name any names. Okay. It sounded uh, like the reverse of the shit. You dated. You were dating shit. <laughs> and she was like, you know, you have a real anger problem. Mm. You really snap at me. And I was like, yeah, but you do stuff wrong. Yep. And she was like, yeah, but even, even if I do, ah, okay. you snap. That's and a that's fair not point. the best way to deal with it. Yeah. I was like, you know what? You're absolutely right. So I started going to therapy, been with the same therapist for Women can really push a very buttons, long though. time, over a decade. Women can really push your buttons. Though. Buzz deeper. Well, so you've been with the therapist for over a decade and do you snap less? Oh my God, so much oh, less. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much less. Oh man, that's good. Yeah, it's good. Damn. I don't really snap too much. You don't snap. But I do often feel anger and upset. Yeah, you'll like text me and be like, this is a yeah. this is bullshit. And I'll be like, that's not even a thing to recognize and be indifferent about, let alone be very deeply upset about. That's not true. You get so mad when like somebody tells you to take your feet off furniture. Oh, dude. That is such a fucking bullshit thing that people do. Nah. Yeah, it is because... Nine times out of 10, they're not even the person who owns the place. That's asinine to be somewhere that you don't own. So what are they doing? They're just making a, a statement about... I, I think, hey, you should take your foot off the, the thing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm talking about patrons of places mm -hmm. come up to me and tell me that. I'm talking about the, the waiter or... Like, you don't give a fuck. You just want to be a dick. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I'm doing this. Like, it's not like I'm like on the walls, just you know, Lionel Richie and shit. Yeah, I'm not fucking Jamiroquai. It's so annoying, dude. It's actually Lionel Richie, not did Jamiroquai. Did, no, he's like going back and forth. Yeah, you know, he walks all over. He, he walks on the ceiling too, okay. dude. All yeah, right. man. All right, so sue me. So sue me. So it's like it's really annoying when people, dude. The last time that the person did it, a woman came up to me. She was like 70 years old. It was at a doctor's office, and I was just doing that. Mm -hmm. And she was like, "I think this young man should take his foot off the." And I'm like, "You know what, dude?" It's not 1940 anymore. You don't have to be like, she probably thinks I'm a, I, I have a motorcycle because I have tattoos, you know? It's like, get with the fucking times, man. Okay, well, it's deeper. No, it's not. It's just let me live, dude. Yeah, people have live. a real weird hang up about that. And I don't get it either. Oh, so but, you agree. Fuck but yeah, to dude. get mad, no, but to get mad about it mm. is absolutely pointless. Either keep your foot up or take it down. Don't. Let it matter. So you're okay with people telling you what to do like that? Yeah, because I don't have to do it. Hmm. I don't have to do what people tell me to do. So I don't care what they say. Unless they're figures of authority. If a cop did it, that That's would bother me. That's a different me. story. If a cop did it, that would bother me. If, if, a, if some old lady who I don't give a shit about tells me to do something, oh, I don't so think I have to do it. if a cop said get your foot off the thing. That would bother oh, the well, shit out of me. Oh, well, that would be yeah. even worse, yeah. dude. I, yeah. Dude, I had a cop... Uh, once in, I was just get, I was leaving a Yankee game, mm -hmm. getting on a subway, mm -hmm. coming back uh, to where I live in New York, and um, I I swiped the Metro card mm -hmm. to get on the subway station, mm -hmm. subway platform, and uh, there's like at certain places, certain areas depends on the subway station, but sometimes there's Metro cards just like everywhere on the ground. Yeah, this yeah, is back yeah, when yeah. they used to oh, be like yeah, pieces of story. paper, and yeah, not, like on your phone, right. Um, and I and I swiped, and I just flung it on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what seemingly a thousand people before. Right, me right, right, right. And uh, some guy with a shaved head and like a Hawaiian shirt on comes up to me and he and he says, "Would you treat your mother's house like that?" And I was like, "What?" I actually did, I was so surprised I didn't know what he was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he indicates the floor what I did, and he just repeats himself, "Would you treat your mother's house like that?" Yeah. And I actually thought about it. And I said, yeah, I think so. Right. Like that's what I did isn't even, like, I didn't spit on right, the right, floor right, right. or like wipe my ass with a comforter. Mm -hmm. You know, I threw a Metro card on the, on the floor and it was, it was an outside yeah. station too. Yeah. Oh, wow. Anyway, he didn't even reveal that he was a cop entrapment. And so Could've got him arrested. I, but I snapped back at him. If I knew it was a cop, I wouldn't have done of that. Of course. But, uh, this is when you anyway, were in jail he takes for his, years. yeah, exactly. <laughs> He takes his, he takes his badge out of his shirt, and he shows it to me like I'm supposed to 
yeah. give a shit. Well, because what are you going to do? Arrest me? I mean, for they can that? do whatever they want, though, you know? They didn't do shit because you can't. I mean, I guess you could get me for littering, but I would just go to court, take a picture of the fucking floor, and go to court and say, look, there's a thousand other ones. Yeah. I thought this is what you were supposed to do. Yeah, you get out of jail that. free. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so. Anyway, I'm the fucking man. That's the end of the story, yeah, and then I, you're the man? I'm the fucking man. Um, wow. That is. My point is, that's mad annoying. It pissed me off that a cop was like flexing his authority uh, over some bullshit like that. I don't know, man. But if li- some guy did that, I'd be like, uh-huh, and keep going. I get it. I get you know it. I saying? get what you're saying, yeah. But both are bad. Both are bad, but but it's not worth my time to be annoyed by some guy who thinks I shouldn't have done what I did. I do not care enough what that fucking random guy thinks. You should have told him, you, sh- you should have said it was racism that he was doing it. He was white. Yeah, but he doesn't know what you are. Okay. You said oh, I look so Middle Eastern or something? Yep. You're yeah. profiling me. You're a white guy. Am I? Am I a white guy? This is a melting pot and everyone's kind of, you know. Wow. Everyone's mixed in a, in a way and you don't know what my background Worst is. Worst argument. Worst fucking so, argument ever. I do yeah. look Middle Eastern though, I think. You should have said when he said, would you treat your mother's house like that? I'd be like, well, let me, co- I, I said, let me come over to your mom's house. I'll show you how to treat yours. <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> you know? uh, get arrested again in a Hawaiian shirt. Why didn't he just show me his badge first? Like, what a dick, extra dick, you know? The whole thing You're is going to be dick. undercover. He about definitely it? saw like nine episodes of SVU. He was binging it, and then came, and then was like, "I'm going to do something." And then had to go somewhere, and then saw that, and was like, "Cool." You know, what was even more amazing. He had his partner with him, and his partner, I could tell, was like, "Oh wow, this fucking clown." Oh, so the guy's like just got in a fight with his wife. Then that's the yeah, best definitely. part. He had you a bad loved day. He was having a bad day. Yeah, yeah. And he took it out on me. You love those kinds of guys, you know? Yeah, but not when they're doing Mad it to about me. Something else, yeah. Uh, his partner was black though. His partner was like, "You, you should have been like." He was actually, dude. You, we deal with this a lot. You said, yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, he was like looking at me like, "Yeah, be like, not well, like what did you do, kid?" Yeah, yeah no, I know, Just I know. Like, understand. like this, sorry. Like, yeah, yeah, dude, because he's always trying to. I, I can't imagine what he's like if he's treating me like this. What he treats you like? Right. Well. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm white, but yeah. But yeah, but you don't have to disclose that to him. Oh, uh, okay. And okay. be like. I didn't do all these. Why don't you go and get all these motherfuckers, you know? I'm white, but there's one thing everybody knows I'm not, and that's black, you know? So I couldn't do that to a black guy. Right, Maybe if he right, was Middle right. Eastern, I could have been like, we we get persecuted like this, you know? Okay. All right, next one. Hey, Matt. Hey, Chris. This is Sabrina coming at you from the Bay Area. Hey. Um, so I'm going to get straight into it. I have a friend who FaceTimes me unannounced all the time. Like, every couple of days just FaceTimes me. I could be working. I could be chilling at home. I could be at the grocery store. I could be at my boyfriend's house. She just FaceTimes me without asking. Um, We used to work together for a few years and became friends. And now we don't work together, so we don't see each other very often. Maybe, you know, once a month. But if you're going to FaceTime me, I'm the type of person that, like, I need you to have something to say. Mm -hmm. Like, it's got to be important or you got to ask me a question really quick. But usually when I answer the phone or answer FaceTime... She's just like, hey, and she's just like in her kitchen with with her dog, like chilling. And then it turns into a really long conversation that I don't want to have. Yeah, Um, that's her point. I don't want to be a bad friend. Uh, She's really bad at texting, so maybe that's why she Facetimes me because she forgets to respond. But better at texting. I don't know how to approach it. I don't know how to be like, hey, dude, I don't want to Facetime you. A lot of the times, I just don't answer. So, uh, what do you guys think I should do? Bye. Uh, sounds like you're doing it right, not answering. But if you have to say something, say, hey. I don't ever pick up when people FaceTime yeah. me unless it's a plan, um, which is what I say. Right. If someone FaceTimes yeah. me and I don't pick up and then they say they try again or try again yeah. later, I just text them at some point or let them know next time I see them. I say, hey, I don't want you to take offense. I, I never, ever, ever answer FaceTimes unless it, we have a plan right. to FaceTime at that right. time. It's weird though, because that's a very young thing to do. She seems very young. By the way, nice hat. She's got the Life Rips bucket. Yeah, hat, I, I thought I'd recognize it, yeah. Um, but you, but it's, it is... Um, I liked how it matched her eyeshadow. I noticed the fucking details, but well, what I don't... Uh, very, very noticeable. So I, <laughs> yeah. There's a time I was watching Columbo and there was a picture of this guy uh, dead and um, it was a picture of, of his um, hand and they were like, well, the reason why we got Columbo is because he notices all of the details and he was like, you mean how I noticed that there's a, a, a tan line where his watch should be? He wears a watch, but it's not on. It was like, the, it was a picture of the guy's tan line. <laughs> so, um, Columbo's great, but so stupid sometimes. Yeah. So anyway, uh, yeah, I don't, the, the FaceTime thing is, it's 
bonkers to me. I don't get it. It is. I'm going to go out. Here, here's this. I, it's so much harder to talk on FaceTime than it is to talk on the phone. Like go, texting the phone sucks. Phone to FaceTime is beyond. Here's why. You got to fucking not only focus on the conversation. You also got to yeah. be holding your shit up like this. It's annoying as fuck. Or like this. And then you see up your nose in your brain, dude. It's so FaceTime is so annoying. Don't ever FaceTime me. People, I got two, three people that FaceTime me, and I'm just like, all right, what's up? Okay, bye. You know, we talking this shit. And you we could have done this do on that? text. You let them do that to you? Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I try to because I'm like, maybe I'll get used to it, <sighs> honestly. I don't I do I'll do not, it with my I'll, wife and, and kid on the when I'm on the road. Well, obviously. Yeah, yeah, of course. But that's totally different. But yeah. that is just a niche, niche. Got to empty out. That's so bad. You got to empty out the thumb clip. Empty it all the way out. I think that you need to. I think that FaceTime should only be reserved for something where you need to see somebody's face for it. Like you, I got to tell you something very serious, or, or I got to. Or if it's if it's if it's really someone you deeply care about and they don't live near you, yeah. and it's like, yes. hey, can we Facetime at you want, you this time on this day so I can look at you and I yeah. miss you? That's exactly that's that's what Facetime is for. Yeah, remember the first or the original Facetime commercials? It was like specifically like grandma and grandpa live across yeah, the yeah. country yeah. and this couple had a baby and now they right. get to look at each other. That's why FaceTime is good. Not to see some guy you're like kind of friends with who wants to just like chat for 12 minutes. Yeah, dude. One time I was in my car, got a fucking phone call from an unknown number, uh -huh. picked it up. It was Jeremy Renner. Why? He was laughing so hard at my podcast about him. Uh -huh. And he was like, bro, you're so funny, man. And I was like, what the... F this is the most Hollywood thing of all time. You picked up? I picked up because of a text from a friend that was like, yo, pick this up mm -hmm. or something. And I picked up and it was Jeremy Renner. I was driving. Wow. And he was crying, laughing. And he was like, I heard you were talking about me on my podcast. And I was like, oh, no, I love Chris D'Elia. He was like, this sucks. I was like, I thought he was talking shit. And then I listened to it, man. It's hilarious, dude. Oh, wow, wow, really? Yeah, dude. It was the funniest thing I couldn't believe it, dude. <laughs> so what's happening now is you're, we were talking about FaceTime. Now yeah, just, dude, I know a lot of famous people, man. Now you're just bragging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, um, uh, How about him when he got hit by a, a tree? How about that? <laughs> yeah, that sucks, man. You think I could have used a FaceTime then from him. You, did you think about that? Yeah. Do you think about that? Did you think about that time he called you when you saw you got hit by a tree? Uh, yeah, probably eventually, yeah. It's pretty sad. Yep. Is he okay? He got, I don't know. He got, dude, that guy got hit by a tree. Yeah, he's okay. I, okay. I, I wrote him and I said, are you okay, dude? I'm thinking about you. And he said, thanks, needed it. So I fixed him with my thoughts, basically. <laughs> so stupid. No, he got dude. fucked up, though. Yeah, dude. he was mad fucked up. He got fucked up. He almost did like uh, what Bono, uh, Sonny Bono did, you know? Is that Sonny what Sonny Bono, Bono did? some trees, like Eminem did it. He got hit. He got, Sonny Bono got hit by a tree. Jeremy Renner got hit by a tree. Natasha Richardson got hit by a tree. My I mean, you're not getting, you know, they're hitting trees. My principal. <laughs> it's, they're not like zombies. No, dude. but actually my principal in second grade really did get hit by a tree. She got hit by a tree. Everybody hated her so much. A tree fell on her before school one day. Okay. And they came in to make an announcement and all the kids were like, yay. Because they didn't really understand. They just, they, we all took it as like, oh, she's not coming back to school. Yay. But we actually were applauding like demons for a woman oh, who had a tree fall on her. You're terrible. Not a skiing accident. Just a tree fell on her You're head. terrible. She died. The only other FaceTimes I get was from uh, Jaden Smith. Oh. I don't know what it is. It's like a famous person thing to do. No, but not in my case. Well, I don't do it, and I'm fucking, fucking extremely famous. But Jaden Smith. <laughs> random people do it to me and think it's totally normal. Who are the people in those people's lives who act like it's normal? It, to me, it's like the famous same. Famous people. But it's like the same thing as like a really, really, really bad kisser. Like... How, who have you been kissing that has been letting you think wow. it's okay to kiss like that? It's the same idea. Who are you friends with that has been letting you think it's okay to FaceTime me out of the fucking blue? Who are you? Zachary Levi too. Okay. You know? I just don't understand what, the, the people who, I would say the people that I face, you're right. You're right. Zachary Levi FaceTimed you? Yeah. Okay. He could have faced on me too. No, didn't. but I don't understand what the famous thing is. Because, like, I will say the people who FaceTime me, I would say 60% of them are famous or more. 
but also like a lot of people you know are famous so that's that is true i do window. hobnob with the elite stupid i hate yourself you f- you hate yourself fame. me too i hate, I hate you too oh, oh, I, hate, oh, oh. I hate it what the f- like people who are famous and f- being famous and those events and shit i hate uh, oh you're famous though so how do you feel about yourself i want i want to be a comedian i want people to come to my shows and like think i'm funny i, I don't want people to be like that's a celebrity. I don't. I don't like celebrity. Well, Hollywood sucks. Yeah, Hollywood. It's Hollywood, basically. You know, there's one way to know that Hollywood sucks now. Mm. Not that it was ever like amazing. It was always a bunch of pieces of shit being pieces of shit. Right. right. They used to make better shit, but that's not what I'm right, saying. Right. Right. The people in Hollywood right, are such right. shit, and this is how you oh, know. Wow. Okay. The slap thing. Will Smith uh-huh. slaps yeah. Chris Rock, which right. is just across the board fucking terrible. Yeah, it's awful. He wins like five minutes later and everybody there gives him a standing ovation. Right. Which they don't give for anyone else who won an award that night. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? They don't know what to do. So why do that though? Because they're lost. and That's literally signaling the worst possible thing. They're idiots, dude. They're They're idiots. So idiotic. They're idiots, dude. They're idiots, dude. If somebody punches somebody, you escort them out Dude, no matter know. where well, you, know, you they, are. The, apparently they tried, but he was like, no, I'm not going anywhere. And they made it an executive decision. They like didn't want to make a scene. Really? Yeah. So they were like- You they know had that? To, is it like the Cloverfield Lane thing? Dude, don't be a guy who's like, do you know that for real though? Where did you- Oh, really? Where did you hear that? Don't <laughs> be like that. Okay? <laughs> but I, I want to do my own research because I then don't know do, if that's true. Then after you talk to me, go do your own research and but, realize that I'm <laughs> fucking right, okay? But there's all, also other stuff out there that could be misinformation. Yeah, I know. And trust not me believe anything. to not give it to you. Okay. How about that? Okay. Why? Because right? you read it where? I, I read a fucking interview with the guy who did it. Okay. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm old now. I can't laugh without coughing. Like, I can't laugh really hard without coughing. So then what? So the guy went up to Will Smith and said, Sir, Mr. Smith, uh, we want to... I don't know how we said right, it. Right, yeah, gotta get, get you out of here, here, whatever. And Will was like, no, I'm, I'm not going. You can, you can like, drag me out of here, but I'm not, I'm not going to go with you. And they were like, oh, I'm not going to... Obviously, the director was like, well, I don't want to, like get a guy sent out in fucking handcuffs or whatever risk another big fucking fiasco like mm. they had no choice but to kind of let him sit there like a complete fucking asshole next time Jaden facetimes you ask him what the fuck is wrong with his dad well obviously everyone's fighting their own war and they got their own demons and like i don't think that you know I mean, we, that's I, not I, an excuse I, to get up on it, stage it and slap not, somebody and i'm sure if you ask will smith is it he would say no i fucked up and i don't i i believe that you know but he only thinks he fucked up because everyone else said that. And he realized his career's fucked up now. So he needs to act like he thinks he I fucked don't, up. He, last, that night, he was like singing and dancing to get jiggy with it. That night, yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think right if after you, you do a bad thing is when you should feel bad. But no, I think that if you were to ask Will Smith before all this happened, mm-hmm. is it right to go up and smack somebody even if they talk about your wife? I feel like you would be like, no, that's wrong. Correct. So I, agree. I think he, well, not correct, but I, agree, I think yeah. it got the best of him, and he was in his own world that we know nothing about, and he went up and did that, and that's a shame. But I think that he thinks it's a shame. But too. he didn't even say that when he had the chance when he won an Oscar. He was still buzzing off of that, though. He was. You, I want to be a river to my people. Remember. Or whatever, whatever. But, okay, but I understand what you're saying. <laughs> what the fuck I, I understand what you're saying. But when, okay, first of all, he was so mad, mad enough to do what he did. Okay, so he was not. So that's where he was mentally, that angry. And then he won an Oscar. So then he thought, oh wow, I'm on top of the world. We don't know what that's like. Mm. I feel like it was too much going on for somebody to handle. I also feel like Will Smith's probably been living that way for 40 years. We don't know what this shit does to people and how it affects them. Dude, fame is fucked up. No, I know. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm famous. And so, and, and I'm not excusing what he did, but I don't think you he's excusing. You kind of are getting close to it. No, though. I'm not. Yeah, I think bit. it's fucked up. Yeah. I think it's fucked up. I think it's really fucked up. I, you know, you don't go around smacking people. Also, I'm a comedian. Fuck Will Smith for that. Chris Rock, it's like... But also now Chris Rock has to forever be associated with but Chris Rock is, that, dude. Here's the deal. Yes, that shame, does dude. suck. That fucking sucks. And Chris Rock is bigger than that, though. He's going to be okay. If it was somebody like me, then I would be the guy who got fucking slapped by Will Smith. <laughs> right? 
You know what yeah. I mean? If I'm mean, a Tom Segura, but Chris Rock is Chris Rock. Yeah. So I think it'll be okay. It sucks. It's unfortunate, but I, you know, Chris will turn into something hilarious because he's fucking hilarious. He has a new special, like really mm -hmm. soon, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it sucks. And I'm not excusing it, but it's just like, you know. And obviously Will Smith's fine. He's in another movie, Emancipation. He's fucking killing it. Perfect movie to come out after that hell happened. Mm -hmm. You know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is. It's like not like fucking Men in Black Seven. It's like. But nobody saw it. Everyone hates him now. It's crazy. No. That's I said it. True. I said it, so it's true. It's not true. Huh? You'd be surprised when I say something is true. No, I, I, I think that you say a lot of true stuff. Yeah. I'm not. I'm just saying. No, I agree. Everyone thinks that too. Well, I, I here's what I think. With cancel culture the way it is, I do think the way it tracks that Will Smith should have had some sort of repercussions. But I also, you know, know he he fucking. I guess he didn't. Like I, he kind of did, but not real ones. Yeah. Like he got kicked out of the something. He got kicked out of the academy. Got disinvited from the Oscars for like five years. Who fucking cares? I mean, that's kind of nothing. That that's not being canceled. That's just like right. What no, they that's done consequence. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh. I don't know. I I I I I think it's weird that you know people. I mean, people fuck people get canceled for way less than that. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. It's all backwards. But you know, I, it's uh yeah. Chris will turn into something great. Chris, he's fucking hilarious, dude, and and he'll be fine. And he obviously, and I, honestly, his ticket sales spiked so hard after I know, that. Yeah, I know. which but is I the only that. silver lining. But I knew that before. But I knew that. And then uh, said it. you want a one on one session with your fucking boy, Pimpin Pimpin, about it, about it. Okay. Go to magically.com. Okay, uh, so like about it. Uh, <laughs> I uh, am shooting my special in Minneapolis. Crystalia.com. Go get those tickets. I'm going to be in Midland. I'm also going to be in Utah. Uh, and oh, oh, and you know what? I'm actually doing uh, a show in Oxnard and Brea and Irvine leading up to this special to get ready, ready for it. And then also, I'm uh, that's in California. And then also, I'm going to be in Milwaukee uh, and Austin. Crystalia.com. And go to if what you have a question, watchlifeline.com and lifelinemerch.com for merch. Well, you say when you, if you have a question, but you, what you mean is if you have a question for us on the show, oh yeah, click the link in the description below or oh, go to watchlifeline.com. Yeah. If you want that p -p 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 merch, baby, baby, oh, yeah. go to lifelinemerch.com. All right, guys, thanks. Hello. Hello.